Good. So how are you, Brad? I'm, I'm good, thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for having us for this interview for GlobeMA.com. No problem at all. No problem. Um, so, um, to present yourself in a few words for our French viewers, uh, you are one of Britain's most popular fighters at the UFC. Uh, you have 23 wins and 8 losses. You are a former Cage Rage and WEC fighter. And you often obtain bonuses for your fights. 4 fights of the night uh, bonuses and 1 knockout of the night bonus at the UFC. And uh, on March uh, 8th, you'll do your 7th fight at the UFC against Yann Mako at Flyweight Division. So, this is a new division for you. Um, yeah. Am I correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, so, my first question, uh, it's a question of one of our readers of uh, GlobeMMA.com. Uh, why did you decide to drop to uh, Flyweight? It's a question by Romain Delors. Uh, the re reason I decided to drop the fly rate because I I'm a natural competitor, okay, and uh, mm -hmm. I just could shut the door. So, you know. uh, and uh, at the bantamweight division, I, I was ranked number five, I believe, and there was four people ranked above me. Uh, out of those four, I fought three of them, lost to three of them, so kind of like it left me nowhere really to go. I could have stayed in that division and fought other people and just be my job and fight and get paid to fight. But for me, as being a competitive person I am, that wasn't a challenge for me. And I, I, I like to always challenge myself and set myself new challenges. And mm -hmm. when I was on uh, my honeymoon with my, my wife, yeah, I. Yeah, uh, congrats for, for it. <laughs> yeah, when I was on honeymoon with my wife, I, we just started thinking, and I was like, man, I wasn't hungry to go back to train just to fight, I needed something, so I just thought to myself then, you know what, I found I could make go down a weight class mm -hmm. uh, and uh, do it, and uh, yeah, and I, and I can, so, well, I don't know if yeah, I'm going to make the weight, but I believe I can, and okay. uh, so it sets me new challenges. Obviously, I have beaten uh, the champion before, uh, but not saying, that wasn't real, really the motivation for me to drop down, it was a factor maybe, but not me, I just wanted to trip, just challenge myself. Okay, so uh, this will be the fourth division uh, where you'll compete in your career, I think? Uh, yeah. Uh, moving from lightweight at the beginning to fly race, to fly weight uh, for your next fight. So it's almost about uh, 13 kilograms, that's right? Yeah. And uh, so, uh, how do you feel right now? Uh, what's your weight uh, um, at this moment? At this moment, I'm, I'm, I'm quite good. I'm, uh, I'm walking around probably about 144 mm -hmm. sort of pounds. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing it. I'm doing it the correct way. Um, I'm a lot leaner than I used to be. When I used to fight at featherweight, and when I fought at lightweight, I didn't cut weight at all. Even when when I first started fighting at featherweight, I used to walk around like if you're doing kilos wise, I used to walk around. 62, 63 kilos, mm -hmm. and then fight 66 kilos. Then I, I got bigger over, over the years mm -hmm. uh, of training. I got bigger. Then I started to cut to featherweight, but I wasn't a big featherweight, so making a drop to uh, bantamweight was quite easy for me. And then over the time, making bantamweight quite regularly, I, I wasn't really, I don't think, a really big bantamweight nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, but when I first started fighting the bantamweight, I was quite big. But uh, it, in comparison now to a lot of the band of weights I see, I'm not really that big. So I think naturally, my natural weight is flowing. All right. Uh, over a win against uh, Jan McCall, do you think you'll be in a good position to have a title shot? Uh, I like to think so. Um, I think one edge that I have that no one else has in that division is that I've already beaten the champion before. Yeah. So yeah. it gives me an edge uh, when it comes to picking fights. Uh, also, Dimitri Johnson's cleaned up that division. There's no, not one, anyone out there really, I think, is in de deserving for a shot. Johnson's had a shot, don't get me wrong, Johnson's doing really well and mm -hmm. can get another shot, but... I know that UFC don't like rematches, they like to have new fights and new fights. The only other person out there is maybe Lineker. Uh, he's doing really well, but there's the issue of him and making weight. He doesn't make weight, so 
Uh, I think it'd be pretty unjust if he gets a title shot when he doesn't make weight. He doesn't make 126, let alone 125. Okay. Um, what do you think about your opponent, Ian McCall, his weaknesses and his uh, strength? It's a question uh, from Kevin Town. I don't think... I, I'd be fair to say he's got weaknesses, you know. I, I think he's very well-rounded, he's very good in all aspects of the game. I just believe that I'm, I'm strong and better in these aspects. I just think I'm a better athlete. I think I'm still going to be stronger than him. I, I will say he, I think he would cook it at me. Uh, but I think I've got really good timing. I can time it, his speed and carry his speed with my power. Uh, I just believe that I'm, I'm way more dangerous to him as an opponent than he's dangerous to me as an opponent. All right. So to um, to follow his pace during the fight, it won't be uh, a problem for you. No, no. no. Obviously, no. I've never really had a problem with gas in any of my fights. Going down the weight class, I'm in a lot better shape than I ever has been, and I don't think. I, it's hard to say this far out. I've never had a problem with gas before. Okay. Uh, okay. Hopefully, I don't have gas. Problem with gas. I don't know how bad the weight cut will affect me, but hopefully, uh, I do things properly, and we uh, uh, gas won't be a factor. Okay. Um, so you are from East London. What do you think about uh, fighting at home at the O2 Arena? For me, for me, uh, it, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to, to be able to do this. I, I fought for the UFC a few times in England, but that's more north in Nottingham and Birmingham. Uh -huh. And I fought in London uh -huh. quite a lot for like for the old organisations like like Cage Rage and stuff like that. But I never really got to fight. Um, uh, I never got to fight for the UFC in the UK. So for me. It's like a dream come to, especially in the O2 arena, which is a really massive, big arena. So, yeah, no, it, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so, you, you currently train uh, at the American Top Team in Florida, that's right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. One of your partners uh, before was uh, Carla Moussou, the French fighter. So, I, I would like to, to, to have your opinion of, uh, of this French fighter. Uh, man, he's, he's very talented, yes. but they, he plays fights in cage war, right? Right, he's next person. Right? Oh, uh, I have some problem, connection problems. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like, yeah, he's got very, very good stand-up, very good boxing, and uh, yeah, he, he's tough, he's, I think he, he's gone down to uh, um, bantamweight. Mm -hmm. As well now, am I right in saying that? Uh, I'm not sure. I have to check. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I think he has, and uh, man, he's looking really strong in the in the gym, and uh, yeah, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing him fight. Good. So th this was a question uh, uh, asked by uh, Arthur. Uh, last question um, to ask you, Brad. Uh, I saw on internet that you like uh, video games. Uh, especially uh, Blizzard games, uh, what kind of games do, do you like to play? Well, I, I played World of Warcraft obviously for a very long time. Uh, I love Blizzard games, I, I love uh, World of Warcraft, I like Starcraft, I like uh, Diablo and stuff like that. But at the moment now, I say I'm playing on my PlayStation, not on the PlayStation 4. I'm playing, I'm playing all different games on that, FIFA and all that sort of stuff, I play anything. Also, I play uh, Clash of Clans. I don't know if you heard of it. It's like a, yeah. a game you play on your iPad and phone. I will play that a lot as well. Good. And I actually have my own clan called One Punch Army. <laughs> what's your What's your opinion about uh, the next UFC game by Electronic Arts? I'm looking forward to it because it, 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 next generation graphics are on the PlayStation is amazing. Uh, I loved the last game, I thought it was done really well, so this one now is being done by EA Sports and I, you know, I, think, it's, I think the game is going to be wicked and I really can't wait to, to, uh, to play it. And also I love that, the fact that I'm in the game, because I used to play these games anyway regardless and I used to always have to create my own character, <laughs> now I have to, it's already in there. Oh yeah, that's very good. Some time. <laughs> so thank you very much Brad for this interview. So. Uh, uh, a lot of French people will come to, to see you fighting uh, uh, in March uh, for your fight. So it will be a real pleasure to, to see you fighting uh, as always. Thank you. And uh, Thank we you. wish you all the best for your preparation uh, uh, until this fight.
Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. No, thank you very much, Brad. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.